is mostly addressing the men. You think you're going to grab your passports and go explore your options for love and marriage overseas. Let me tell you something, unless you plan on living full time overseas and you ain't coming back, let me tell you, if you plan on going to get yourself a mail order bride or husband, okay, you plan to go overseas. First of all, women are not going abroad to get husbands for themselves. If that was the case, you would and get you somebody and bring them back here and you're going to live your life here, let me tell you something. Don't count on that marriage or that love lasting any longer than that person getting their visa, their green card, um, and their citizenship. Yeah, that can be a factor, but unlike most women, most men actually vet the women they decide to be serious with. And for the record, most men who are going abroad are not planning on bringing those women back in the U.S. Okay. Um, speaking from experience and from also knowing others who have married foreigners, um, it's not that all foreigners are out to try to get citizenship, green cards, passports, visas, whatever. Um, but quite a few of them really are out for that, okay? If they are dealing with you as an American. Um, it's not that they're not going to show you love and treat you how you want to be treated. They will until they get here. <clears throat> they get Americanized and they get exactly what they want, which is a better life and their legal right to be here without needing you and at some point unless you are um i don't know controlling them and forcing them to not get their stuff huh. ma'am unlike western women most western men are not control freaks um you know locking them in the basement or something <laughs> which is illegal and you know crime you're not going to stop them from pursuing or getting their legal paperwork or documents because they're not going to be able to continue to be here without um, them having a legal reason to be here, which is being married to you or they have to have a work visa, a school visa, something, something, you know what I'm saying? Or um, maybe they are a refugee and they have the right to be here for that reason um, under the, the law. <clears throat> so... Please stop kidding yourselves that you're going to escape your fate, which is to do better, become a better person, and then search for the good people that match you. Go to God for who you want and then be patient enough to wait, but do the work. Okay, but what if they went to God and God told them to look for their other half elsewhere? I've seen a lot of these videos of foreign men who are going abroad to find women because apparently they are more submissive than American women are. You see, women in these countries know that the men are probably there for one of three reasons. One, he's probably looking for someone who he can take advantage of. Two, he's probably a narcissist who thinks that he can get any woman that he wants and he's looking for women who he assumes have lower self-confidence, lower self-esteem. Or three, there's a damn good reason why the women in his country simply want nothing to do with him. You damn right the women in his country want nothing to do with him. And that is because he is an upstanding man who has standards for the women he chooses to deal with. And ma'am, judging by your looks, tone, obvious shaming, and belittling language, you very much must be a narcissist looking for a fun time. But don't worry, I understand. I can tell it's been a while since last a man paid any attention to your person. He's not able to attract women in his country. Like you are unable to attract the men in your country. Hmm. Maybe that is the reason why men are going overseas. As they go to these countries thinking that they are smarter than, 
better than and more confident than the women they are trying to take advantage of. And so that's why when you see these men find foreign women, they simultaneously get intimately involved with the inner workings of Western Union and wire transfers. Making you think I'm in love with you has you running to Western Union. Marrying you gets the green card process started and having your child makes my child a US citizen. And they think they're playing a game, but they are the ones in fact. I just have one question though. Why do you care? Oh, I know why. It's because that money spent on the basis of love is spent on foreign women and not on you. You don't have to get into this funny business of going on a lavish dinners in exchange for sex. We're not going to give Who that. Is we? Um, ma'am, it seems like you are kind of unfamiliar with the market. That we that you are talking about, you are not part of it. You know, because we have a reputation to a hold. We have boundaries. And if you don't like those boundaries, talk luck. Thank you. We're happy either way. So if you think that dating a woman is a waste, so-called waste of time, consider this. Um, nope. Dating a woman of good character who has family values is not a waste of time. If anything, it's the goal. It is a challenge. Yep. We can both agree on that. Dealing with a woman who couldn't use her youth to build wifely skills and secure a husband, but instead decided to use her youth to ride every horse on the carousel. And that, ma'am, is a challenge that mentally adjusted men don't want. It is basically... <sighs> not a fairy tale. What it is, is that you have to understand our needs. And if you don't understand us, leave the hell alone. Yeah, you were right about that. You can go overseas. They are doing exactly that. Why are you here yapping about it? What do you want? Meet a naive woman, and then when you come home to the States, and she found out about the house that you live, the conditions that you're in, she have, she's going to want for her life, basically. Yeah. Like men in your country ran from you as if they were running for their lives. Literally. That's how it is. Because women, they don't want to be the help to broke men. That is all. And men don't want to be providers and protectors of entitled, disrespectful past around women. That's all.